In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an easy text pad on a circle within DaVinci Resolve 17 free version. Let's see today's intro first and then jump into edit page and start creating. Welcome to new tutorial in DaVinci Resolve 17. Today I'm going to show you how to create easy text pad on a circle in DaVinci Resolve 17 free version. Currently we are in edit page, so let's go and open media pool. Right click and we're going to go to new fusion composition. So create new one. We can rename this to, uh, let's say, intro number three. Once created, just drag it onto the timeline, close the media pool, put the play hat in the middle. Uh, we can also check the duration, so just press Ctrl D and we can see that this is a 10 second clip. So if you need 15 seconds or 5 seconds, you can change it here. So let's jump into Fusion page and let's start creating this effect. So we have media out here already, so first thing uh, we're gonna drag text node onto the this field, node field, and we're gonna connect with media out. So we're gonna use this and we, we're gonna just go with text that we can go with, let's say, DaVinci Resolve 17 Studio and we're gonna change the fonts so we can go with different types or so just decide which one we can go now oh, we can go with Calibri so next thing is let's just drag uh, media in so uh, DaVinci Resolve logo let's connect this with text one this way we can we we're gonna get merge note so one thing is we have to change the size of it so we can drag this uh, transform note or we can just go with shift and spacebar and we can go with resize put resize in go to inspector so open inspector here you can see all the tools here so first thing go to keep frame aspect so, and let's decrease the size of the logo. So next thing is, let's jump to text. And we can see here that we can change the size as well. So we can do different things. So, so we can uh, tracking and so on. Next thing is go to layout. And we can see here uh, type of layout. So we can decide to go with frame, circle, or path. And we're gonna uh, decide it for circle. We're gonna go with circle. You have here also size and also width. So let's go to transform and we can use spacing. So first thing, it transform characters. We're gonna change spacing between letters. Later on, we can go to word and change the space between the words. So we can go back to characters, and change a little bit more, so we can do it like this. Uh, I suggest that you always go with some kind of, so like this star, and you're gonna have uh, this option here, so like this. So if we go back to text, we, we can go to H anchor and change the position so like this. You can see that we can add another, another one like this. So we're going to change a little bit more like this. We can go back to transform and we can increase the, the, the spacing and also we're gonna change the size 
paper like this and we can change the width a little bit not too much like this so we can go back to text again we can grab this eyedropper tool so we can change the color whatever color we want we can go with yellow like this and uh, that's basically it so next thing that we can do is we can just uh, keyframe everything if we if we want to so we have option here that we can rotate text in every direction we want so counterclockwise or clockwise and uh, we can frame it here so let's put the the play hat on the beginning uh, let's put it back to zero so keyframe it here go approximately to frame 80 and we can just change this uh, a few times so, so we can play through to see you see this is uh, counterclockwise so we can just if we want to to go with the clockwise we're gonna just do it here and go to frame 80 and we can just put it minus in front of it and we're gonna get clockwise rotation and we can also change the media so we can rotate as well we can go to merge directly and we can put play hat on the beginning go to angle and can do the same so with frame 80 and we're gonna just drag like this so 360 we can even go to 720 and let's see what we have done it looks nice looks professional so one more thing that we can do with text as well so let's press shift and spacebar and we can go with drop shadow so we can see here we're gonna add drop shadow here so first we're gonna do blur a bit visible so next thing is we're gonna decide it the shadow strength and uh, drop an angle so we're gonna leave it like somewhere like here and drop distance we're gonna close it a bit closer like this and it looks nice so one more thing that we can do we can just bring media tool in connect the merge node and we're gonna go with ctrl t to change uh, the position so we can see here that this is not really the proper color we can change the color of uh, text so let's go back let's go to here let's try with blue one and we can see the effect And that's basically it and now we can go back to edit page wait that computer check the video clip in the meantime we can go with uh, full screen and play it through <laughs> that's it so if you have any questions regarding this effect please let me know down in comments and that's it for today uh, thank you for watching and see you next time. Great, fast and easy as usual. 
Once again, thank you for watching and if you find this tutorial helpful, hit that thumbs up. Leave your feedback, suggestion or comments below and if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. If you are keen to upgrade your knowledge or you just need to refresh your memory, don't miss my other tutorials as well. Till next time, take care and have a good one.